hello guys hope you are doing well today we will see and we will discuss around the s3 bucket first of all we will start with the definition and how it is beneficial in using with the moodle lms and it, and again it's a file repository inside a moodle if you talk about the moodle term you can use this one okay so what is s3 bucket first and s3 bucket is an essential essentially a virtual storage container that is provided by amazon aws you can say amazon web services it's a feature or the service you can say of amazon with the name s3 bucket this will give you a virtual storage from here you can access the file you can put the file and this same concept can be integrated with the moodle okay so it is like a digital folder in the cloud where you can store all sort of data objects not just a file and you can access that also yes so there are several benefits using the benefits to using an s3 bucket with model got it so it will basically whenever you have large size of data you will always find difficulty in uploading again and again when you are dealing with the model if you are using model normal file upload it will take lots of your time and also consume the lots of data of your server and and sometimes maybe it hangs uh, you find that your video is not working properly you have lots of video on your model lms and it is taking huge time to load so what basically whenever you will be integrating s3 bucket with your moodle it will you can put all your large size data into this s3 bucket that means you are uploading the storage size got it so you are moving that files or all the large files from your server to s3 bucket so this way it will offload your storage now scalability it is more scalable more reliable and redundancy is also there in case you want you have a file and suppose you make a make a change a minor change in that file then you must require a versioning thing here okay so this kind of concept you can you can take benefit inside s3 bucket yes security is always a concern whenever you upload a file you you will have the facility whether you mark that file as a public or a private okay integration yes i will be using uh, i'll be you'll be checking the demo here how you can integrate and you can check that now object of storage storage unlike traditional file system with folder and subfolder s3 bucket uses object storage each piece of data you store is considered to be an object with its own unique identity okay whenever you try to access the file from moodle that is stored on s3 bucket it will be accessed through the object so you don't have to uh, don't much worry about this it will uh, your integration will be taking care of all these things now scalability scalability s3 bucket are highly scalable meaning you can store a massive amount of data in case you need suppose you are you are on a server you purchase have a very limited size but now you are on the s3 that means this one is a amazon web services and you can initially you can buy very uh, a smaller size s3 bucket then in case required you can move to any larger to largest site yes durability and availability s3 is designed to be extremely reliable your data is replicated across multiple server okay suppose in case of data loss you will have the ability you can set up whether you want to keep this file only on one place or the multiple place okay the charges will be applied according to your selection you have security you have control over you can access your s3 bucket yes as i told you you will have the whole rights on a particular folder or or on a particular object you can set uh, set the security or access level like whether you want to access that file public or you want to make it private so these kind of thing you can will have the options now coming to use cases s3 bucket are worse versatile and can be used in a various purpose so today we'll be using this one in inside modal lms so currently you see i am already logging with my s3 uh, account amazon s3 
and I have created this bucket Amazon S3 bucket then this is my bucket name my model LMS and inside this bucket I have created a directory you can see the folder you can create n number of folder and I have two files here only now if I want to create uh, upload one more file I can do this let me try uploading file Got it so simply I am uploading this uh, I have a transcript so yes now the upload is finished you see here the three three things the first file second file both of these are already there now I just uploaded this one and again you will have to make sure it does not contain any space got it so rename object I told you this is not just a file it's an object so whatever you will be uploading that will be considered here as an object so you can also see the name here rename object now I will be removing the space all the spaces you'll have to take care of this constraint it makes sure you don't have a space otherwise it may give uh, error sometimes yes so I just put here transcript save as save changes now if i come here under transcript you click on that you will find this is your object url if you open this one you will find this as a you will see here an error got it why because this file is not directly accessible currently this one is a, a private one i have set up here as a private got it okay so now this one is just uploaded and I will go inside and in case you want to make it a shareable URL. So if you open this one currently you see this one is a private one and you will give it will give you the error message. You will not be able to use anywhere this one because this one is a private file. But what in case you want to share this uh, publicly you will have to create object uh, under ob object action you can share with a pre-signed URL and here you can put here the expiry uh, and it must be around 1 to 12 hour because currently this file is a private one but I am here putting for the 12 hour uh, create pre-signed URL if you click on that you will find the pre-signed URL you have created share with precise URL. so once you create that it it automatically copy the path of that let me try creating again this time i'm creating in minutes 30 minutes let's say create bit size got it now it also give me a direct url so the moment i create that it me it give me the url this one and this url can be used as a public url Got it so here i am you see here i am opening in incognito this is my public url and only accessible for that time i have set from here got it now you should you see this file is a private in the private access i still can't see, see x this one but with this url anyone will be able to uh, access this for that particular given time up to that particular given time now how i can access this from modal lms okay so coming to that so inside moodle once you log in you will have the idea how is easy to use this s3 bucket so after login you will have to first go under uh, site administration then under plugins then you will find a repository since this is accessible to the repository under manage repository you will find s3 amazon s3 bucket currently you see here it is enable and disable sorry enable and visible you can make it either enable disable or you can hide it enable now when this will started coming for this you will have to install 
two plugins inside Moodle. Right? The first one will be your local S3 and other one will be repository S3 bucket. Since this one is accessible through S3 bucket repository, you will have to install this. So after installing this, you will find, after installing this plugin, you will find here, Amazon S3 bucket started coming. Okay. So this one is the one plugin. The another one is, you will have to install the local S3 plugin. You will find the uh, this plugin inside uh, description of this video. I will give you the details. Local S3 plugin. Okay. If you are not finding here, you can directly uh, go to Moodle site also switch from you can also search from there uh, under plugins here you will find in the local Oops. any category type here the s3 search right so two thing the first one is it will give you the s3 bucket so that this one is this is the same thing then you will have to come to local so once you come to this it will if you uh, read a bit of a description do not reply to this plugin do not rely on this plugin you have to install uh, sdk version this sometimes uh, local aws will not work yes so this one is basically the Moodle. Another plugin that is required here, that is local plugin. Yes, it will be installed inside local, and this one will be installed inside S3 bucket. Okay. So this one you will also find from here. Okay. If you scroll here, you'll also find here. Okay. So only it will give you or uh, this but if you click this then you can read the description a bit and you will also see the local aws plugin link here and you can install this got it so i will paste the url of these two plugins inside the description of this video from there you can download and use now after installing that this one will be applicable here then once you enable and visible you will have to come under settings under setting you will have to check both of these option and click on save now create a repository instance so so before doing this you will have to create uh, here credentials your credential like it will give you the access key and secret key you can take uh, the help from the amazon s3 bucket also how you can create uh, s3 bucket uh, credentials like the access key and the secret key and here you can put your own readable name and this will be your bucket name got it so i am cancelling this one for now because i have already created a one so i am going to edit now you can see here i have booted my name okay, any name you can put here let me try here the s3 bucket adding And this will remain the same, whatever you have bucket name created here. Okay. So in my case, the bucket is this. This is my bucket name. So, okay. And access key and secret key you can create. You can search, uh, take help from uh, how you can create S3 bucket credentials so that it give you the access key and secret key. Okay. You will also have to select in which uh, uh, times, in which uh, place you have created your this s3 bucket so in my case it was mumbai so i have this one now click on save change got it now once you are done with and your setup is working properly you can go inside a course okay i 
I am coming inside this course and you come to edit section and here you can add your resources so for example this time I am adding file got it so file I am picking here and under browser you will find this this is the name I just given so this one will be added additional here it was not earlier before enabling my s3 bucket repository also okay and the test was the directory inside you can see here and these are all the files that were uh, available here okay since you are not able to access this transcript.php and but i can add here okay so this will give you the link to the file in case you want to make it uh, copy you can also do this okay but this will make uh, the copy from there and it will store in a your model but i don't want this but yes you can do this one put the file name here file name goes here save yes search here file name goes here if you click on this it will open got it so this is how the Moodle normal file works it is working like a normal file now you see it it i had i had downloaded that one inside Moodle. now i directly want to link from there okay so for that you will have to edit in case you want to do that in the same file i will delete this one here go inside and i will search for that and you can see here link to the file the default one okay select the file and yes it is linked linked now it is linked and if you go to this you will be able to download that file yes it is downloading so you see here you are not able to access here from direct url but still it is working from your LMS so this is how the security is provided even if this file is not public but you are still able to access from LMS why because you have done the integration in Moodle so this will give you an idea how you can upload your data large file data from your Moodle site to S3 bucket in store so hopefully it will be helping you to improve the performance of your site using this s3 bucket thank you thank you for watching and have a great day ahead